and your seed, all the nations of the earth, shall be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. And your seed, now pay attention to the word seed, here the seed is actually, the language is singular, not plural. The language used here is in a singular format, not in a pluralistic format. In your seed, as singular, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. Now Galatians 3.16 Saint Paul clarifies the seed more. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He does not say and to seeds as in plural, as of many, but as of one and to your seed who is Christ. So God of the Old Testament, when he spoke to Abraham in Genesis 22, 18, he is saying, in your seed, all the people of the earth shall be blessed. So who is the singular seed? In him, everyone will be blessed, unless it's Christ. Who is the blessing of the world? Who is the Savior and the Redeemer of the world? Jesus Christ. And who is Jesus Christ? The seed of Abraham, because... In his humanity, he is from the lineage of Abraham. The Lord Jesus in his humanity, he is from the lineage of Abraham, our father Abraham. So this seed, singular, and there is no one but Jesus. In him, all the people of the earth will be blessed. This was fulfilled when Jesus Christ was born. Now, 